Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Eador, Monsters of the Broken World on Overlord difficulty. After the introduction of our homeworld in the previous part, we will now have to do all the usual things we do early on the shard, which means uh, some leveling and conquering. And also I checked what's the AI doing and I'm quite surprised that he's not that far ahead. He only has three provinces, still doesn't have access to iron, so this definitely gives us uh, a time to wait one more turn and uh, let our units heal up a bit so that's what I'm gonna do uh, go for exploring for my for one turn let's check maybe we can find something well nothing interesting but uh, at least we are healed now and it will be much safer to attack these brigands so let's do it And there is only four of them, so we are probably able to do this even without waiting. But uh, because I didn't know how many uh, opponents we will have to fight here, and if there was more of them, we would be in trouble. And like this, it's definitely a lot safer. So now we can attack and uh, don't have to worry about losses. Also, it's safe to move up now to our usual defensive line. And start the battle. As usual, the first fatigue for bowmen, and let them come. And when we see uh, how they are coming, I will decide uh, how to use uh, the next fatigue. Probably wait one more turn. And now, mm, let's move this guy out of the way. Move this one up a bit and now use the fatigue on this guy and end the turn. And what can we do here? You can move closer. The last fatigue I'll probably use here. And let's move like this, I would say. And now let them come. Yeah, we will take some damage, but it shouldn't be that bad. Now we can move him forward and probably shuffle my units like this. Now these guys will take a lot of damage here, but uh, they have to kill only this one unit. When they do it, they are, uh, they are done uh, for this fight. And I hope these two guys will be able to finish the rest. So, this one can start. Now, this brigand is out of the fight. And here we will take really some uh, heavy damage. But I hope that we will be able to weaken this guy enough so he can't uh, kill any of them. And now we can end the turn. Okay, no problems. And here, wow. That was really, really big hit there. I think I really should get rid of the thief. So let's move everything around. How much damage can you do? Probably like this. And... It's probably better to stay with this guy uh, back. And the turn. That's really a lot of damage, even more than I expected. You can move up the hill. Everyone move around. Start here. And... Maybe we can finish with these guys, so we allow this one to save as much stamina as possible uh, for attack on the bowman. And now you try to finish him and here uh, no problems. Almost done. And can you kill him now? You can. Okay. 
So definitely a lot, uh, a lot of damage, more than I expected. But we should have our level up now, so fingers crossed for something good. Command would be ideal. And we have that command, so this is good. But our abilities are quite crap. So what can we take here? Definitely don't need logistics. I'm thinking either leadership or maneuvering. That extra stamina is always useful. Initiative isn't bad. But the uh, bonus to experiences here this early can really help a lot. The leveling uh, here will go to uh, quite high levels. And uh, even though the bonus uh, here would be only 10%, it's, it can be uh, quite significant in that long time. So maybe I will go for this. Yeah, this is probably the best way in the long uh, in the long time uh, investment. So let's take it and now just the usual things: more survivability and more attack. A bit of gold, a bit of gems, always useful. And what do we have here? Uh, our local blacksmith make a perfect sword. Okay. If we were using a warrior, this would be really awesome. Uh, we can get master sword from this. It's like 8 attack and counter attack and plus 2 morale, I think. Really awesome sword. But uh, uh, he's not gonna give, uh, give that sword uh, to us uh, for 100. So we would have to take it by force, and because uh, we don't really have a use for it. Mm. I will just go this way, offer him the money, I know that he will refuse, and uh, then I will let go, and basically like this I will skip that event. If I uh, was a uh, running warrior, I would take that sword by force, that's for sure. But for now, let's just offer him that 100. Uh, yeah, he didn't agree, so, alright, I've changed my mind. And what can we do now? We have that one extra slot we need for a healer, so go back into capital, get that uh, healer, and maybe we can even uh, get better spells. So... The first thing is definitely that healer. And now I'm thinking if I should build the school sorcery and take webs or stick to fatigues for a while. Because our gem reserve really is not that awesome, only 32. We'll spend another 15 for the school of sorcery. Each web is uh, 3 gems. But uh, our units are still quite hurt, that means we will have to wait for a while before going into the next battle. And that means we will get some more gems, so we can probably afford that. I'll have to be a bit careful uh, how I'm using the web, but uh, it, sh it should be fine. So let's build this and get rid of all fatigues. And change it for these webs. Okay. And we really have to wait, I would say, at least two turns. But uh, the next province I want to attack is this free settlement. And as I mentioned in the previous part, it's better not to attack it from Swamp. So now I will go back to this province. Here I will explore for one or two turns and then I will attack from this side uh, like this. Uh, our side of the map will be hilly and not full of swamp, so uh, we'll have definitely a bit better position. So, end the turn. Yeah, we still need more healing. So, explore here again. And the turn. Nothing interesting again. But I, I'm really doing this uh, only for the healing. 
and now it looks much better. We can give uh, one heal to this guy on the battle map. And I would say we are now ready uh, to try this free settlement. Five defenders. It shouldn't be that hard. So let's attack. And here you should probably move back. And this looks good. So let's start. First heal for this guy and let them come. Uh, you should move in the forest like that. If you are attacked by the slinger, uh, you are not gonna take that much damage. And here let's do something like this and end the turn. That's fine. Here, what can I do? Let's web him. Run towards the slinger. Do some damage. And maybe we can even try to do something like this. And now we can attack with, attack with everything. Attack him and do a bit of damage here. I will still stay back uh, with uh, the healer because uh, the slinger is uh, quite close so just to be safe and end the turn. Okay this guy will definitely need some healing so let's go back uh, and heal up here you can finish him, you can move up a bit and do as, do as much damage as possible to him and what now? And you can finish him with your axe. Okay. He will be still in the web in the next turn so that's fine. This guy will come a bit closer then we can web him. And we shouldn't have any problems, so let's do it like that. Okay, we can heal this, no problem. Uh, you can finish him. You can run towards the slinger. Web this guy. And start doing some damage. Okay, works quite fine. Now you go on the hill and do some damage. Finish him off and you can run down as well. You have your last heal. You have two more heals. Hmm, should I move forward or not? We can definitely survive one hit without problems. So let's heal our barbarians. Uh, if we will have some damage on the healer uh, at the end of the fight, it's not a problem. Yeah, four points of damage, but that's okay. I rather have my barbs healed for the next fight. And now finish here. Okay, so that's another province. And we have a healer's medal and that will help a lot, so let's take it. What's in here? Nothing interesting. How are our units? We are healed to full almost, so... Uh, well, should we plunder once to get more money? How is our upkeep? Minus 6, that's not that bad. The important thing now is that we are at plus 4 uh, with gems. Um, uh, I will check the AI how fast he's developing and he already has all six provinces in the first reign conquered so we should probably uh, hurry a bit as well so let's skip the usual plundering and move on to another province and it will be these barbarians with webs uh, they are much easier to defeat than uh, with fatigues so it shouldn't be a problem yeah, let's do it like this and end the turn. 
and only three of them, so uh, this really should be an easy fight. What about the positioning? I would say it's fine. Start the battle. We'll take some damage from the uh, from the shaman, but uh, with the metal we uh, can heal that easily. I will use the first web right now, so. This guy will be slowed a bit and they will be coming one by one. And the turn. And what can we do now? Definitely need heal for this guy. Uh, I'm thinking if it's better to wait for him to come or to web him and attack him. I would say it's probably better to wait because then we will be able to attack him with more guys. So let's do it, do it like this. Mm, maybe even like this. You know what? Screw it. Let's just web him. Attack here. You can move forward a bit. And do it like this. You can get your heal. Uh, you move up. You move in here. And you two can come closer. You can finish here. And you can do some damage to him. And you can throw your axes. Okay. But I need to web him again. So that means we will have to kill this one out of the web, but uh, we still have three heals left, so shouldn't be a problem. You can come closer. Uh, move like this and try to kill him. Ah, oh, come on! Now, this is just the bad luck. Uh, he's still up with only two hit points, but uh, the loss of hit points doesn't affect bar affect barbarian, so he will uh, do a lot of damage to this guy. Uh, that is oh, wow. <laughs> that was interesting. Not to uh, going after this guy just to go back and throw the axe. Well, good for us. Heal up here. You can finish him. And what about you? Well, I would say I'll probably wait one more turn. He's not uh, berserking, so there's no way how he would be able to kill this guy. And the next turn, uh, we will have all four guys ready to kill him just in one turn. Still a lot of damage, but we can do uh, we can heal quite a lot of uh, the damage. And here, focus everything. And we didn't even need all four of them. So, what do we have from this? Oh, this crappy choice. Okay, a bit more ranged attack. This is much better. Uh, attack as well. Here, more hit points. And that's all. What else? Anything interesting here? Nothing. Uh, we should be still fine. Yeah, we can heal this easily in the next fight. So what can we do? Mm, we can either go home and uh, go after some of these uh, locations or go for another province. The money is fine, we don't really need uh, money now, we can uh, play without uh, some crazy income for a while, but uh, I would really like to improve our gem income. So another province will be probably useful. Yeah, so let's go for this free settlement.
and end the turn. It's really not awesome location, only plus two incoming gold, but the plus one to uh, gem income, that's uh, something we really need now. And I'm surprised, quite, uh, quite tough defense, six of them. I hope there won't be that many spearmen. We are attacking from swamp, so you can see again quite a lot of swamp tiles on our side. But now it's better to stay up. We can move a bit forward and here it's uh, okay. So let's start, maybe even move this guy like this I would say. And start here. Okay, only one spearman, so that's not that bad. But I, st I think that we will still take quite a lot of damage. Let's see what they're gonna do. No problem. Um, can even let him come. That one hit shouldn't be that bad. Yeah. Let's wait one more turn. Okay, four points of damage. That's not that bad. Hmm. Heal that up. You can move down. You can move forward a bit and you can move down and you follow them. Uh, these guys can attack him. You can attack him and I will web the spearman. He's the most dangerous unit. So end the turn, see what's gonna happen. Okay, I'm quite happy that he uh, didn't go for this guy because he's quite far from the healer. What else can we do? <laughs> Let's kill him with this guy. Move this one up and this one with him. Can you kill him? You can't. But with the amount of damage you will do, we should be fine. So, one more hit. Uh, here we can focus focus on another one. Still four his heals left, so heal this guy. And here he will be in web for uh, in the web for the next turn. But I should probably web him. Uh, at least this guy will kill himself uh, from my counter attack. And that would mean uh, this guy would replace him and do even more damage. And with 12 hit points, I rather uh, would rather not take that one more hit. Uh, now we can avoid it. So like this, we should be fine. No problem. Yeah, it's expected. Um, you can kill him. And let's do something like this. Move the healer forward a bit. You can come back for your heal. And now again move into the front line. What about you? You can do some damage to him. Uh, and let's use the last web on him to avoid as much damage as possible. Yeah, expected the hit for the healer and to be honest I will heal him just to be safe finish here and here kill that uh, kill that slinger and the last heal will be for this guy in the next turn And these th three guys can definitely finish him. Okay, so another province. Uh, anything interesting? Another level up and another command. I'm really happy about this. Uh, these early commands will uh, speed things up a lot. And now even a decent uh, ability to pick. Uh, another 
uh, leadership uh, would be interesting to boost that experience is so much but uh, uh, the attack is much more important we really need to have our barbarians uh, hard hitting and every bit of attacks ha attack helps so let's take this and here what do you have medals I don't want medals now so let's skip this uh, more attack of course here we have another medal shall I take it or not this mean means we will uh, again lose uh, uh, income uh, of gems hmm. but it's probably worth it we will still be on uh, uh, plus five and uh, the last province we have in uh, our first ring those lizards that province is like plus three in gems I think and we should be able to get it early yeah so let's let's take this and that's all anything interesting here nothing how are units we are fine so let's go back buy that second healer and then I will decide uh, maybe we can even try those, those lizards first I will definitely pick that healer before I forget that and now we are really low on money minus seven hmm this is plus two plus three really really nice province hmm shall I go for locations we definitely have some easy targets here these orcs, twice, brigands, maybe even dark druids that would be probably another level up before going for those lizards or shall we try it right now well I will think about it and uh, tell you my decision uh, at the beginning of the next part this will be all for this one uh, we have uh, the first string almost conquered let's uh, before I end it let's have a quick uh, peek what uh, uh, this guy is doing uh, and he's doing something wrong because uh, I can't see his hero he only has the first string of provinces so he had to fail horribly somewhere my guess is that he tried to attack this and under underestimated the defenses and lost his hero so this will slow him down quite a lot well that's good for us by the way what's his defense in the capital gang of thieves but that will probably change well okay as I said this is all for this part and uh, uh, you will see how I'm gonna decide to continue in the next one hope you like this and uh, see you bye bye